Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue ici en Belgique à Marienburg. Welcome to Karting des Fans International Raceway here in Southeast Belgium for the second round of the 2019 BNL Karting Series season. Around about 1,000 meters to go with Sarniola very deep uh, into the brakes going into that chicane heading towards the far part of the circuit. Olson has got to hang on right now as we've now got a penalty for the 349. That is Simon Shogren for blocking Five second penalty issued by race control. So Shogren really uh, not al also being one of the others that haven't had a really good uh, turn of luck. Emily de Hoys, 32nd. Albin Carlson, 33rd. But here we go. Axel Sarniola is rod right on the back bumper of Matilda Olson. Could it be a drag race to the finish here in Christianstad for the second senior max final? We're about to find out. Sarniola goes for the move. Olson, will she switch it back? I don't think so. On the last corner, the checkered flag waves for Axel Sarniola from Finland, who pips Matilda Olson by just point one seven three of a second. He waited until the dead last moment. Axel Sarniala breaks the Matilda Olsen winning streak here in 2019. Top 15. Uh, the Persistence Motorsport driver starts on the inside of row 11 alongside the 224 of privateer Robbie Sapleford with Dylan Hotchin, Daniel Am uh, Amazigo, Alfie Brooks, Oscar Joyce, Harvey Ribby, Joshua McLean, Aaron Walker, Alicia Barrett. Judy, uh, Jude Fernaho, Daniel Butterworth, Alex Slade, JP Sleater, and uh, also Oliver Beerman and Jamie Day. Red lights on the starting gantry for one final time here at Cart Masters at PF International. They go into the tram lines. 15 minutes. Do they click away now? Yes, we go racing one final time as they scream their way through into the Bruno Ferrari S's for the very first time under the Litchfield Bridge. All very clean through there at the moment. Two by two, or maybe even nigh on four wide at one point. Uh, just outside of the top 15, but everyone's safely making it through thus far. Let's get the action underway here at the home of champions. Let battle commence as the war needs to be won. They put the accelerators down as hard as they can, despite the wet weather conditions. And we go lights out for the final time in DD2 and DD2 Masters. What a start from David Remy. Absolutely blasted past Sarsen. Dionysus Liveris just absolutely threw it up the inside of everybody and tried to go for the lead. Zander Shulak back on. Uh, terms at the front of the field and then David Remy slingshots past the pair of them. Shriblak down into third. Liveris takes the lead. Shriblak up into second. Does he go for the lead? No. And he has to slot back into third. That's a great initial hard-fought clean, clean exchange between the top three. But Dionysus Liveris now in the lead ahead of David Remy. Zandab Shriblak now trailing in third position. What a lightning start from the Greek driver with Dames Racing. And uh, that's an explosive way to start the final race of the season, DJ Liveris, you absolute animal. One anniversary Citroën as Simon Walker Hansel from Mac Attack Racing in the 347 from Stone Dead Loss to Victory at the District O Pass Distribution 24 Hours C1 Racing Club extravaganza here at the home of British Motorsport Silverstone. I've never in my lifetime as a commentator seen so such a fantastic fairy tale, fairy tale story unfold before our very eyes. For qualifying, for qualifying heats for Junior Max. Pelka's right on the back bumper of Van Vrucht. Is he going to send it up the inside of turn four? He does. Great job by Pilker. But now Van Vrucht really has a chance. And it's, uh, it's nearly side by side on the entrance into turn six. And Rissani in the meantime has got up to third past Van Dyke with Charlie Burt's... Uh, Still there or thereabouts in fifth position is the young Austrian. Then it's still got Equist, Morris Schmeiss, Kai Hriel. It's doing a great job in eighth position, just ahead of uh, Silas Ritter, Marcel Sermach in tenth position. But look how close Van Vucht is as Danny Van Dyke sends it up the inside of Andres Sarni with, on turn 12. And Charlie Wurtz tries to go through on the German two, heading into turn 13. He makes it stick. This is going to be a run to the line for the top five. What a close finish. Van Vucht isn't going to get it. Pilker takes the win again. What a job by the Polish driver from Dan Holland Racing. And when I tell you that the top five separated by just under half a second at the flag, it was a run to the line. One hundred and nineteen drivers. Sixteen different nationalities. 
pots more. Six titles to decide here at the home of champions, Karting Gang. Ich habe eine Gäste hier in Sprecherbüro. Max Reis, herzlich willkommen. Äh, gibt es einen Überblick über diese Klasse? Ähm, ja, also, also von dem Rennen jetzt? Oder? Ja, von dem Rennen jetzt. Was, äh, gib mir einen Überblick, über was hast du gesehen im Moment? Ja, also ich habe gesehen, dass sich ähm, in der ersten Kurve viele gedreht haben und es wurden noch ein paar rausgekegelt. Und ja, die probieren jetzt auch wieder alle aufzuholen. Zum Beispiel der Moritz Wolber, der ist jetzt auch nach hinten gefallen und probiert jetzt auch das Feld aufzuholen. Und ja, Alexander Kühl kann sich im Moment sehr gut absetzen und hat sehr viel Vorsprung. Okay, danke Max. Wir werden mit Max äh, ein bisschen mehr heute Morgen sprechen über die Mikro- und die äh, Minimax-Klasse. So, back into English and Alexander Klügel Simon has is now... the danger man. Thien has got to really, really keep calm. Well, he's going to have to defend. He's going to have to defend. Yes. Simon is within lunge range. We saw that he's prepared to make a move from a long way back on the previous lap. Jaden Thien trying to move for the Netherlands. Troy Simon trying to be the second South African to win this class. Thien defends into turn number eight. It's very close indeed, as it looks like uh, Toparis does the switchback. Oh, that curve actually unsettled him uh, earlier on in the week. Here Thien. we go, there's oh, a move. Oh, oh no! Contact. Thien oh, my word, Thien Thien come out of the lead. Who's going to come out in first place? Toparis. It's Toparis. It's back. Rakam, yes. This is more Raji Baji. Oh. Look up the inside. That's not Andy Hattel. It is. Sehan Kwayam is a drag to the finish. Andy Rattel, I think. No, Rakam Ye. Rakam Ye takes the win for France. Oh, oh, oh. And it's a one two. France. Ten. There's the move, Snyman yeah. up the inside. So Thien, and yeah, Thien's taken a wider line, but Snyman's just absolutely sent it and oh. gone for broke, and it has not paid off. And uh, you can see the front Nassau on Jaden Thien's cart as he gets spun 180 degrees in the opposite direction. But now we look at the, the Tataris goes through, but Tataris runs wide. He runs wide coming out of the corner. He's going to be slow on the exit. You've got Rakamier going around the outside here. There's a little bit of contact there as Tapares tries to cover his line on the curves. Oh, at this point, Tapares leaves. Here comes Rattel. Rattel to the inside, sends it up the inside, and Andy Rattel leads into the final corner. But he's then going to run wide, and That's we're going to look coming out of the corner now. And then all of a sudden, Hakamye is on the absolute perfect racing line, goes side by side with Hatel, and knows he's got it. He's just getting his head down and just punching the throttle. And just before the line, he knows. But Henry, the winning margin, twenty-three thousandths of a second, <laughs> and eight one hundredths between first, second, and third. Hakamye Hatel. And Taparis from Australia, your top three. What a dynamic. Uh, you said that the first one was a good one. That was a belter.